In this video, I want to introduce the Lovable of India or more specifically the Dualite Alpha, an AI front-end engineer that can create stunning looking UIs for both mobile apps and web apps. If you have no designing skills but want to create sleek looking UI for your next project, then this tool is a lifesaver. And the best part is that Alpha allows you to select the framework, the component library or the UI framework and even the language that you want to use to build your project. So all you gotta do is to explain exactly what you want to design in plain English and optionally upload an image or give a link to a Figma file and the AI does the rest. So let me quickly jump on to my computer screen and show you Dualite Alpha in action. So let's quickly get started. So this right here is Dualite Alpha and this is the AI tool that I've been talking about. So the first thing that you gotta do is to click the first link in the description below and head over to alpha.dualite.dev and if you use the first link in the description below and use the coupon code that is Astro Dualite, you will also get 38% discount and you can make use of that if you want to. So first thing first, head over to their website and sign up for a new account and once you log in, this is going to be the kind of interface that you will see. And as I mentioned earlier, Dualite Alpha gives you the option to select the framework, the UI or let's say the component library that you want to use and also the language as well. So towards the top, you can find a drop down menu and if I click on that one, as you can see, we have a lot of options in here. So we have React plus Tailwind, we have React and Chakra, then we have React and ChatCN, HTML CSS, HTML Tailwind, Angular CSS, View Tailwind and even React Native. Yes, you can design both mobile apps and web apps like UIs for both of them using alpha. And again, as for language, you get both TypeScript and JavaScript as well. So if you're someone who prefers type safety, you can prefer to stick to the TypeScript version. So in this case, I'll go ahead and select React plus Tailwind. And next up, all you gotta do is to explain exactly what you want the AI to design in this input box right here and press enter and the AI gets to work. And the interesting part is that you also have the option to upload images as reference to the AI. So let's say you have an image and now, I mean, image of a website, a landing page or something else, and now you want to turn it into code. Well, all you gotta do is to click this button right here and upload the image and give a prompt and the AI will go ahead and convert that image or let's say take inspiration from that image and turn it into code. And in a similar way, you can also go ahead and click on this Figma button right here and connect to your Figma account and then drop in a project file and you can turn a Figma file into design as well, which I'll show you later. And again, you also have the option to connect to your API in here and you can also import a project from GitHub as well. So first of all, we'll start by trying to create or let's say design a dashboard, okay? So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and enter a prompt in here first. So this right here is the prompt I'll give and it says Studio Board, a premium project management interface for creatives and agencies. So I'm explicitly asking the AI to design a full screen, ultra clean, highly polished dashboard for creative professionals and boutique agencies. Focus on calm, aesthetic, seamless usability and a native app filled with intentional spacing and structure. And then I have some design specifications in here. I have mentioned the same in the UI style part, like the typography, the spacing, uh, the sizes, the icons and all that. And we also explicitly mentioned all the screens that we want within this project. So here I have like what, uh, main dashboard, project list view, project detail, task board, that is a Kanban board. We have a team directory, chats and notes, files, client view and settings. So this is the initial prompt I'll give. So all you gotta do is to Start with a initial prompt and include as much as, as information possible. And now I'll go ahead and click on the send button right here. And now it says alpha is building your app and alpha is currently analyzing your request and generating the code. And towards the right side, you can find your prompt and this right here is the chat interface. So within seconds, now alpha will go ahead and create the app and you can find a live preview of the same towards the right side. And now if you want to make any changes on top of that, you can use this input box right here, message like type whatever changes that you want to make and hit enter and the AI does everything for you. In which case we'll wait for the AI to complete the initial version and we'll take it up from there. All right, so there you go. Seems like the initial version is ready and look at that. So this right here is the dashboard that the AI has created for us. And it says the interface feels like a native app with intentional spacing, etc., etc. All right, so basically the AI went ahead and analyzed the prompt that we gave and this right here is the uh, preview. And to be honest, everything looks so clean and the color combination, the rounded corners and everything else actually really looks great. And now we asked the AI to create a couple of these pages in here as well. So this right here is the dashboard and here we have this overview of the stats, recent activity and also pinned project. So if I head over to the project section, ooh, look at that subtle animation. That's really great. Here we have all these projects up in here 
and nothing happens when I click on them. Okay, next up, if I click on the task board, it says coming soon, team, okay. All right, so seems like the AI has only designed the dashboard and the projects page. So far, things look good and all these animations and everything else makes it really pop. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and ask the AI to also design a couple more of these pages. So what I'll do is, could you please build the task board? Uh, let's say settings and team and chat and notes pages as well link them to the sidebar too so basically i want the ai to build a few more pages in here so let's wait so after the ai creates the initial version if you want it to make some changes all you got to do is to explain all that in this input box right here and hit enter and now ai will make all the changes that you asked for and now towards the top you can find two options that is code and preview so right now we are in the preview mode and we can find the real-time preview of the dashboard that the AI has created. And if I move over to this code section right here, I'll be able to find the actual code responsible for the project. Towards the left side, I can find all these files. And for example, let me open this file right here that is activityfeed.tsx and I can find all the code in here. And towards the bottom, I can find the terminal instance. I can create a new instance in here as well. And yeah, that's basically it. And if I move over to the preview tab, I can find the preview. In each case, let's wait for the AI to build the rest of the pages. Okay, so the new pages are added. That is the task board, then the teams page, chats and notes, and also the settings page. And now if I head over to the task board section, there you go. Here we have the Kanban board styled app. Maybe I can make it a bit bigger, uh, maybe expand it. Yeah, so this right here is the full view. So here we have the task board. All right, nice animations. Okay, looks good. So this is not functional yet, but if you want to, you can just go ahead and give a follow up prompt. And next up, the team section. Wow, we have all these photos, all the important details, message button, call button, interesting. And chats and notes. Ooh, this is good. We have a Slack kind of a chat interface in here. We can select all the team in here, the members, the chat messages bubbles, input box, the option to send the message. Then we also asked to create the settings page, which again also looks really great. Hmm. All these pages are there, right? Okay, super slick. So basically this is the flow of creating a UI design in alpha. You simply explain exactly what you want to build and hit enter and the AI gets to work. And next up, if you want to, let's say, make any changes, you can go ahead and give follow up prompts and the AI will take it up from there. And next up, if you click on this download button towards the top, right? You will be able to download the project file as a zip file. So as soon as I click on download, as you can see, the same is downloaded and now you can extract it and install all the modules and then open it up in a different software or let's say an IDE like cursor and start building the backend or take it up from there. And now if you want to push this project into a GitHub repo, you can click on this connect button right here, log in with your GitHub account. So you have to authorize and now after authorizing, you can push this to a repo and that way you can have this version syncing and everything else. And now finally, if you want to deploy the UI that you have created using alpha, you have options for that too. So as soon as I click on this deploy button, it gives me an option. It says go live in a minute with Netlify, our deployment partner. And if I click on this connect with Netlify button right here, it opens up Netlify where I need to log in. So let me quickly log in. I'm now logged in and it is asking me to authorize alpha. So I'll click on the authorize button. All right. So please wait while, okay. The authentication is successful. And now I'll click on confirm deployment. Okay. Let's wait. So it will first create the site, then build the project and then deploy it and gives you a live URL that you can then share with anyone and pretty much anyone can access your website on the internet. So let me wait for it. All right, so the build process is complete and the deployment is also successful. And if I visit this URL, I should be able to access the deployed project. So let's wait for it. There you go. Here we have the project that we created just now live. I can access all these pages and pretty much everything works. So in a matter of a couple of minutes, I just went ahead and created a full fledged UI for a dashboard. And not just that, I even deployed the same and downloaded the code as well. And yet another cool thing is that if you click on this code integration button right here, you'll be able to open this pop-up 
and if you want to you can then go ahead and infer the api specification automatically and generate a yaml file containing the inferred specification and download it and then if you're about to let's say develop an api you can use this one but if you already have an existing api and if you want to connect it with this one all you gotta do is to click on this button right here and you have two options that is fetch and axios you can select one of these and then put your api specification in here and connect it as well right so it says use your open ai or a swagger specification and if you want to make it functional you can do it that way and yeah that's pretty much the whole flow of creating a ui and next up let's also go ahead and try to create a landing page so what i'll do is i'll go ahead and try to create a landing page first so this right here is the prompt i'll give so basically i want to create a landing page for a crm website i'll keep the framework as react and tailwind language is typescript and i'll click on the send button and let's wait all right so the ai is developing the landing page and in the meantime i'll also show you how we can upload an image and turn it into code as well so what i'll do is i'll go ahead and click on this button right here so this right here is the screenshot that i would like to turn to code and i'll go ahead okay as soon as i upload an image it has automatically filled the prompt for me and it says i've attached an image please implement this in code and i'll click on the send button and let's see so right now we have like two projects running in parallel all right so yeah let's wait for it to complete the same seems like we have a error in here and the good thing is that alpha has automatically picked up the error and i'll click on this button that says fix all errors and now just in case if you run into any errors alpha itself will take care of it so let's wait again all right so there you go so this right here is the crm landing page that the ai has created for us and here we have this nice subtle floating effect mm. nice animations and hover effects and all that looks really great and now if i head back okay seems like this is also done i'll click on this run server option all right so there you go so based on the screenshot that we uploaded this right here is the uh, dashboard that the ai has created for us so they it has only implemented the main dashboard page and now you can take it up from here following the exact same steps so even if you start by uploading an image after the initial version is done you can then go ahead and give follow-up prompts and take it up from there okay so that is how it is so basically this is how you use alpha for creating stunning uis for both mobile apps and web apps in just a couple of clicks so you explain exactly what you want and with the press of a button the ai gets to work and start to build or let's say design the ui that you asked for and now to quickly get started, all you gotta do is to click the first link in the description below, head over to alpha.dualite.dev, sign up for a new account and also make sure to use the coupon that is Astro Dualite and you'll also get 38% discount. So that is something to keep in mind. So yeah, I hope you guys found this video useful. If yes, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.